Okay, Wonder Woman. I really wanted to do a Wonder Woman costume this year because it's definitely a popular one with the new movie that came out. Uh, I kind of did Harley Quinn last year when that whole Suicide Squad was a huge thing. Uh, I always get a lot of hate on videos where I do popular costumes because it's like basic. Uh, but I like to show you guys my own spin on it. Plus, it's just helpful for a wide range of people and I just think they're really fun and easy like this one and you're not buying one of those like really crappy Halloween costumes that are plastic and never fit right. I hate those. Uh, so this is, in my opinion, something that I would wear if I was going to be Wonder Woman. Uh, so I really hope it helps you guys out. Okay, so for my Wonder Woman costume, I obviously decided to go on more of the casual route um, than her actual costume. I noticed that her costume has red and blue in it, so instead of the blue leather looking skirt, I just pulled from my own closet and just did some similar shades of blue, <laughs> uh, high-waisted denim jeans, uh, and then some over-the-knee boots. I think you kind of get the gist of it with the color combo. Uh, and then for my bodysuit, the only things actually that I had to go get were the bodysuit and the accessories. So the bodysuit is from Windsor Store, and I thought the bodice had a similar shape to her corset, and it's obviously a similar color. So I think it works really well, definitely more of a last minute costume, but I think it looks really great, um, and it'll definitely be different from everyone else's. So then for my accessories, like the headband and the arm cuffs, those are also from Windsor Store, so it's kind of a one-stop shop, making it super easy and perfect for a last minute costume. Okay, so you guys know that I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. I love Daenerys Targaryen. I did an outfit video for her for Halloween last year, uh, but I thought I would include her in this last minute female character costume video because uh, surprisingly, this outfit that I put together is super easy to just pull from your own closet. In fact, the only thing I bought was the dragon pin, um, and then I obviously had the wig from last year. But otherwise, it's super easy. She, this is kind of like her winter look. Her wardrobe has completely changed, so I thought I would show you guys one that I think would be perfect for a costume party. It is a little bit warmer, uh, so keep that in mind, uh, but I definitely think if you show up as Daenerys Targaryen, Everyone will love it. Uh, I feel like Game of Thrones just has such a wide fan base and I think it's awesome. So I definitely wanted to include her. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so for this Daenerys Targaryen costume, this is a lot easier than it probably looks. So the main pieces you're going to want to make sure you get or look for in your own closet is a black pleated midi skirt. I got mine off of ASOS, super affordable, and you can re-wear it for the fall season because they are super in right now. Um, but I just wore that, and then for my top, I had this like black turtleneck, pretty simple, pretty basic. And then over it, I had this top that had kind of like a wrap detail with a little bit of texture to it um, just because the material was different that I thought worked really well but any type of black top on this will work well just the key thing that you want to make sure you have is long sleeves and uh, in her winter outfit she's just very very covered so unless you want to go on more of a sexy Daenerys Targaryen look then I would probably stick to this um, and then for the boots those are just over the knee boots pretty self-explanatory um, but then the key pieces to this are the like shawl thing that she has uh, I pulled this belt which I actually had from my own closet it's like a chain belt these are kind of all over the place you can find them off of ASOS as well um, or you could just go to a craft store and get a chain literally that's it um, so once you have the chain I bought the dragon pin off of Amazon and then I just took a long gray scarf I was gonna originally go to a fabric store which is totally an option it's very affordable easy to just run out and get um, but I had this long scarf that kind of looked like her cape that kind of drapes over her shoulder so I just used the dragon pin to pin that on the chain and it was as simple as that really easy and I think it looks really similar to hers especially for a last-minute costume obviously it's not a cosplay version but it'll do for a Halloween party and then lastly, to finish your costume, the key thing you need is the wig. Or if your hair is similar color, you can do that as well. But I just think that having the wig is kind of like a key Daenerys Targaryen thing, and uh, it'll make you more recognizable. I will have my wig that I got last year linked below, but they sell these all over the costume shops now, so you shouldn't have a problem finding one, even if it's just a cheap one. Like I said, it can be super last minute and you'll still look good. Okay, so this next costume is Lara Croft from Tomb Raider, and I love this costume. There's no denying that it's not the most original because it's definitely been done many, many times before, uh, but there's no denying that it's one of the easiest, best last minute costumes because it really doesn't involve much. It's also perfect for those of you who like to dress a little bit more sexy for Halloween and uh, because it doesn't involve many clothing pieces either, but it's definitely really easy. I wanted to include it because it fits my female character last minute costume idea and uh, I wanted to remind you all about it because it's kind of an older one as well. So uh, yeah, love it. 
Okay, for the Tomb Raider costume, this one I think is definitely the easiest to throw together the day of Halloween because it doesn't require much. So she has a black top and black bottoms. So that's all you really need to pull from your own closet. Both my top and shorts are from Windsor Store. Uh, I've seen a lot of girls modify this, so they use different uh, color tops, like all staying in the neutral color palette, but you can totally modify this up to you. You can put your own spin on it, that would be cool. Uh, but the main piece for this is definitely the holster and the holster belt, the leg straps, all of that. That's very key to her look. Uh, so I purchased mine off of Amazon. You can get these at Halloween shops or you can just prime them overnight on Amazon. Really easy. Uh, so that's kind of what she has on her body. But then she also carries around weapons. I definitely wouldn't recommend doing that. I think that just having the holster belt and the leg straps will give it away um, because some of her other key pieces that make her stand out is her hair. So for her French braid, you just basically French braid the back of your hair all the way down. I had to add some extensions because my hair is short now so it doesn't look the best but you guys get the idea. And then pull some straps down, er, straps pieces down by your face and you're good to go. I just added some eyeshadow all over to make it look like dirt and then threw on some combat boots and those are pretty self-explanatory, straightforward. Um, just some combat boots. I'll link them if I find them, but yeah, then you're done. Okay, so this last costume is from Kill Bill and I'm gonna show you guys how to dress up as the bride. I feel like this is another one of those costumes that was kind of forgotten about. I feel like a lot of people dressed up as her a while ago since the movie is fairly old, but it's a perfect one to bring back. It kind of reminds me of my Mia Wallace and Vincent Vega one I did with Pat last year. Um, but this one is just so easy. It's literally a jumpsuit and a wig, um, so it's perfect for last minute. I just think it's another really badass costume. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys like it. So this last costume is definitely my favorite because I think it for sure stands out. Uh, it doesn't require much explanation, but her outfit in the movie, she has a two-piece. So it's like a jacket and pants. So a lot of the times at the costume shops, you'll find them sold like that, which can make them get pretty pricey. Uh, so I did my research online, kind of looked around, and ended up finding this jumpsuit, which ended up being a lot cheaper. Uh, it has the similar type of logos on hers. It's definitely more of a like cheaper material than probably the whole leather getup, um, but it's easy to just throw on, purchase last minute, and you're good to go. I just wore some black booties. She obviously has like these yellow sneakers, but that was just way too intense for me, so I just threw on some black booties because it was easy. And then for the sword, that was pretty easy to find on like in like a costume shop. I'm pretty sure I got it off of Amazon, so I will link that below. Uh, and then for my wig, I just have the same wig that I used in my Halloween videos last year for like Stranger Things and my Alice in Wonderland. I find when you just buy like a really solid wig uh, you can use it over and over again so I actually lucked out and found this lace front wig off of Amazon if it is still there I will link it for you guys um, but this one I think is really cool another key thing that you should do is definitely splatter blood all over the front of this costume and on your face she has no shortage of blood all over her throughout this movie so I definitely think it'll look even more badass than it already does if you add fake blood but that is it for my video today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below which look was your favorite or which should I dress up as for Halloween. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!